Parents, teachers, and administrators clashed tonight during a heated meeting on the reopening of schools in Mercer County. Kimberly Davis reports students with special needs were caught in the middle. Why have parents, teachers, and staff not been included in making the decisions regarding in-person learning or been part of the process? 31 special needs teachers and teachers' aides will soon be without a job come April. But now parents in the Mercer County Special Services School District are up in arms that the district is still virtual when surrounding districts are open for in-person learning. The response to this pandemic from our superintendent and the board has been lethargic and appears so uncaring. Well, we see many teachers. No, I'm not done. I'm not done. Three minutes is up. I'm not done. Tuesday, the school board held a virtual meeting where they heard from concerned parents and emotions ran high. I, I, I can't believe there's a harder decision in the world to make than open a school. So, you know, what are you waiting for? I mean, this is the easiest decision you ever like. The school board says its special services school district is in a different circumstance, which is why the district still remains virtual. We have medically fragile students. When you're comparing us to other school districts, they are not as medically fragile as ours. During the meeting, I asked if there was a reopening plan, and if so, why haven't parents been notified? My question was never answered, even after passing along my contact information. The teachers union is calling for serious change. We, the members of Mercer County Special Services Education and Therapeutic Association, are undertaking a vote of no confidence in Superintendent Dr. Kimberly Schneider. Are you done? Yes. In Mercer County, I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.